Oh, I one shot his ass. Holy sh Broken. I feel like the ceiling of this champion is very high. Every move you made, I was watching you. If you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank, you're in the right place. This year, I've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve. One is about all the fundamentals for the laning phase, and the other one goes in-depth on tempo and the mid to late. I've been challenger for 7 years and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. Alright, let's get into the video. Yon, I feel like you need PTA in this matchup, because you generally speaking want short trades, not all-ins. I'm gonna go for this, I don't necessarily- do I need- I mean, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna try PTA one game, see how it feels. And then I wanna play, play more grass too. So I'm gonna try PTA and Stripe Breaker this game, because they have very squishy comp. This guy is playing Flesh Lethality, so he does not have Exhaust, which you very often see on this champion. Okay, let's focus on the game now. Playing against Kane Yon. Kane is a very cheesy jungler. I like to ward Raptors against Kane junglers, because they very often start Raptors, and then they go like, rep buff, and... And they gank top very early. Kane could be starting here. I don't know where he's at. Uh, we're playing as Yom with Flash, Exhaust. I guess D-Blade, D-Shield start actually. So that's a bit defensive. Because bone plating. Oh yeah, I'm playing PTA. I forgot about that. This is like my first time playing PTA Fiora, honestly, ever. So it's going to be a learning curve for me as well. So how much damage does it do? That's pretty good. I'm going to focus this melee mean right now, chat. Not the caster. Because this melee mean will grant me my level 2. I can also go E second, right? Now because I have PTA. Holy shit, I one-shot his ass. Yeah, and he flashed. Holy shit, PTA is broken. I one-shot this guy's ass. He gets level 2 from this mean, so I can't dive. Well, he didn't. Dude, I've seen Potem do this against me. That felt different. His flash was good there, by the way, chat. If I flash out on him, he would have died. So it's kind of like feeling it out if he would do it or not. Uh, Kane is pathing into top. He has 16 CS, so he's on the rep of right now, and then he can look to gank me. I want to get this guy's bone plating. There we go. Okay, get his W out as well. I can one-shot it now, right? I think I one-shot it at this HP pool. I don't want to reset yet, chat. I want to get 875 gold before I reset so that I can get a pickaxe, because I can. I'm going to try more PTA, Fiora. That is crazy, by the way. I actually one shot that guy with like short trades. What the hell, man? I'm gonna try more PTA if you're right in these type of matchups that are like more squishy. He should TP, because yeah, the wave's pushing away from him. I know Kane is topside though. So Wukong is bot, remember? Wukong path to bot, and Kane is pathing into top here. So the wave pushing into me here is beautiful. It makes it so I'm never gankable. I, I knew this game was here. I want a potion, bro. I wanna I wanna test limits here. Okay, let's let's stop testing limits. I high key wanted to keep going, but you know, let's let's not grief because there's no reason to do it. He's gonna get close to level four, no? Yeah, he's level four. I got his bomb plating and his W. If I get level five, I can kill him. Although if I get hit every time, I won't. Do I go for this chat? I get level five here. I'll take it. Please don't walk into the turret. Please, 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 please stay stay stationed. Get his movie nine. That kind of mean is the goat. Can I get some? So hey, yo, follow. Where's the kind of mean? Follow the example, bro. All right, we're in a beautiful position now, though. I sh I definitely shouldn't have flipped that, right? If I just recall TP, it's ten times more consistent. So right now, chat, this is my turn in the lane. Why is it my turn in the lane? Because I'm slow pushing the wave to the Yon. I'm also two means away from level six. Yon should never walk up right here. Never. He is walking up. This loses in the lane instantly, because oh, I canceled my auto. However, it is still completely unplayable for him now. The more HP he loses, the harder it will be for him to stay under the third tier. I could have chunked him even more. I missed my... I canceled my auto, and that's why my W didn't land. But if my W land, I think I actually kill him. But now, Yoda's going to have to make a decision. Does he stay on the third tier with this HP? Does he recall? If he recalls, he loses two waves here, right? So I want to try and chunk him again as much as I can. Every mean he walks up for, I want to stand backwards to bait him to Q forward. I thought he said no griefing. First time chat there. Mods! Alright, he has one potion. He's level 6. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't die now because it's his turn in the lane, right? But I'm emotional, so I want to trade. But I shouldn't... I should maintain... I'd be emotional strong here. Good trade. He has one potion. 20 for my ult. I'm gonna wait for my W and my ult and then I can fight. So I'm trying to thin out this wave so he can't crush it too easily. 
That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to keep my potion up to stay full HP as possible. And all I'm trying to do is turn out this wave as much as I can so he can't crush it for free. Paste this here. And a wart in this bush. So if he kites in this bush now, I can instantly keep hitting him. So I'm level... He doesn't have his Q stacked. What a bitch. I think he's dead, no? Why did the... Ain't no way. Oh yeah, you just get the pink ward, by the way. Take your time, Wukong. Yon is only pushing the wave. Well, chat, my bad. Let's keep my discipline up. He has no flesh and no ult. I have flesh and ult at the same timer. It's gonna be all right. We got first blood that was like really, really insane. And then we traded one for one, completely unnecessary. Then I had the freeze dive ever where the Yon would lose three waves and I would get two plates. And instead I canceled my auto, I died. And then I died now again. And now I'm severely upset. However, it's going to be my turn in the late again, chat. Yon should not walk up. Never. He has no potions. I have refillable. He should never walk up here. So please walk up. Please walk up, Yon. Please walk up. I'm gonna max W second because Potent's been doing it. He's walking up, chat. He's fell from my trap. He fell from my trap. Okay! Okay! Learn your lesson here, chat. Don't walk up and waves pushing towards you because now Yon dies and loses two waves and loses three plates. So basically, what can you compare it to? It's like... STP. Well, never mind. Well, never mind then. Still really good though. Nice. Is there a plan to never? GG. Any fundamental snackers? <laughs> Alright, I need 1425. I could sell a D-Blade. So I need... 296 d blade sells for 180 this wave is a cannon wave cannon wave gives around 200 gold and i can sell refillable so then i'll have my full hydra i'm rushing hydra because my champion is very limited wave clear i think what i do instead is slow push this wave hard push next wave then i've guaranteed enough gold for a hydra and i can look to reset i have tp i shouldn't fight so i'm gonna fight Bitch. He did the same mistake. He's gonna lose two waves here and two plates and now he's mad. Boom. Two plates gone. Do I hear a third? Do I hear a third chat? And in the meantime, he's losing two waves. And this next main wave is also gonna walk into the third. So he's gonna lose three waves. Three waves. And the wave's gonna push back into me. So he made the biggest blunder twice in a row. Dying on my turn in lane. Beautiful. And we're gonna go for Stride Breaker next, I believe. <laughs> I'm very squishy, but I do a lot of damage. Really, you queue forward. Uh, I got all the melees there. Holy shit, that was amazing. All right, chat, we're 82 CS at minute 12. Watch me get 10 CS per minute, okay? Watch me go full vacuum cleaver mode on my champion. Even though it's limited wave clear, I'm gonna go full vacuum cleaver mode and still get all back to 10 CS per minute. So I'm gonna harpish this wave and get the full turret with demolish. We're gonna harpish next wave and maybe look for the golden cap, all right? Then we have to start expanding our lead. What's enemy win condition? Maybe Silas and the cane. Okay, hello, cane. You red cane. I ain't scared of you, though. I have a fat shot out of my ass, though. I gotta be a little bit careful. I shouldn't risk it. Well, I'm getting level 11 here, but they have double knockoff. Is it worth the flip? It definitely isn't. Do I want to play for this? Yes, I definitely do. Get level 11? Level timers? Oh, there's a Silas too. No, 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 of course. No, 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 of course. Like, no, of course. Why did you even play for this, Alois? I told you to not do it. Yes, you're right. But I didn't expect the Silas to be there. Yes, you're right as well. All right, chat. It's time to expand our lead. How do we expand our lead? We need Herald here. But Kane is probably doing that. My life sucks. I have a death wish, my guy. I could have W'd that. All right. That was very late reaction with his ult as well. I'm so low in CS now because I've died again. But it's okay. We can still get tests per minute. If the game lasts that long. Because that bot is on 7. Because Wukong has been perma ganking enemy bot. Look how fast I wave clear everything now. I do so much damage. I am extremely squishy. Right? But I also do an extreme amount of damage. All right. This tier 1 is tier 1. is very low HP both. But I want to try and get this tier 2. And then I want to start expanding onto the tier 1 turret. So I'm going to full focus the tier 2 turret. Not hitting the mains at all. Then we get the wave. We're going to get Stride Breaker. Because this gives me 600 gold. Here's no ult. Okay, let's back off. I have Stride Breaker in base. It's not worth it. I have Flesh. Oh, my mama mia. You're all piggies. Wait. Wait a minute. Ain't no way, right? Hey, I'm him! I'm that guy! Goodbye! Now let's start expanding our lead without that.
I am done cooking, actually. One minute for level 12. You already know I'm done cooking. I am not done with cooking. Okay, chat, let's sit here and wait for you to come. Can I get some salutes in chat? We push out this wave, we reset, we TP bolt, we get a tier 1, we get a tier 2, and we start expanding our lead. Let's go. Spooky guy. Ooh. So what I'm going to do here is just proxy this wave. And that way, the next wave will guarantee go to the turret. And now they're kind of chickens in the cage. They're chickens in the cage. Can you, like, make chicken sound for me? And now we want to the turret. Uh, where's the wave? And get the summoners. And get the tier 1 turret. And break open the game. Just like that, chat. That's how we expand the lead. Was the execution good? No. Did it work? Yes. Sorry, happy? Yes. I'd agree. Okay, maybe we move here instead. My Zaya's ult though. Should be fine. Zaya's no flesh. Yeah. Okay, nice PTA damage too. I mean, the thing is, Fiora pushes turrets fast with a blue buff though. Because if I don't have that much mana, then I can't use my abilities like this, right? So Fiora has really good pushing power, not as good as Gwen, but it costs a lot more mana. So if you have blue buff, then I guess you're like one of the fastest champions. All right, so now we've gotten top tier one, top tier two, bot tier one, bot tier two. Kane still hasn't recalled ever since he got my shotgun too. He's gonna E over the wall. This Kane still hasn't recalled. This guy, this guy's like a full black cleaver in, in his base. Play slow, keep kiting the vitals. Hey! Yay! I'm telling you, this cane is a full black cleaver in, in this base. Something like that. I keep. See, the reason I. The reason I know is because I always press tab throughout my gameplay. So I always know, give or take, how much gold people are on. Let's, let's check this guy's items when he comes back to life. That's why I also knew I could fight the Kenya very easily. Because, I mean, he's sitting on a lot of gold. He's 5-1 and one there. But he's actually not that strong until he spent the gold. Let's check his items now, right? Let's check his item when he gets back from... Okay, we need to wait 50 seconds though. There you go. He got a full speed of Sojin even. And a longsword. Did I not tell you? It's a very common mistake you'll see in lower MMRs. Where people stay with too much gold on the map for a very extended period of time. So this guy had around 4k gold, even though his entire team is losing. Why are you still on the map with 4k gold? Uh... Play that very poorly, my bad. I wanna kill this guy time. He killed me. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. He's predicting me. There we go. I propped a vital with my stride breaker too. I stopped auto taking, man! Hello, Zyra. Uh, I'll take it. Uh oh, chat. We're a little bit stuck. My champion is balanced. So how, why can't you guys not climb on the champion? Where's my W? Why is he only CC for like a nanosecond? Mouths are cancelled. No, it should, it should last longer. Alright, let's finish this game. We've got four items in the bank. Yes. I ulted him, but I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Don't stuck! I can't do shit. I'm stuck. I think the Stride Breaker movement speed has helped me a lot already, actually. I think Gore Drinker could have been very valuable, but I think Stride Breaker movement speed has helped me tremendously. Okay. I, I cancel a lot of auto attacks on my champion, so I just need to get way better at stopping canceling my auto attacks. Because there again, I cancel an auto. Let's behave again, chat. Q. 
kill this. Oh! Yeah, come. I'm gonna go over the wall. Can I get 20 bombers? Amazing, so skilled. Thank you, he's mad. I think I got are ulted. I respect it though. Okay, I want 20 kills. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. Boys. Uh, I'll take 21. Okay, 20 this. I think, chat, this uh, champion is very good to 1v9, but we've also had really good teams, so we can't know for sure yet. I mean, this champion has to be good, because Potent had to rank 1 on it, but Potent is also exceptionally, exceptionally good on this champion, right? I feel like the ceiling of this champion is very high. There's a very high ceiling on this champion, in terms of mechanics, outplays, maybe build and setups too. Yeah.